What's up guys, so right before we set, it was pretty much like I think 10 minutes before we set and I was playing CSGO with my friends then I realized, oh shit, I'm supposed to buy the 130 set today so I was gonna plan on picking up a 130 set as well as a 140 this event and um, I figured when I got the 130 set I might as well finish off the Visor Revenge and get myself more coupons so I had to spend 2,672 coupons or gold just to get 1,100 back so I figured it was a fair trade off and I was really panicking. I mean, it was a few minutes before reset. I didn't know what to get, what to get. I was gonna get level four packs just to get basic furies, but I wasn't sure if I should get them or not. So I just decided to get uh, just a shit ton of agility jades. You know, agility is gonna help out eventually. I think it was a bad idea to get them um, because I'm gonna need a lot of agility jades just to keep improving my hikifune set. But it's gonna get me closer to that level twelve stone set. And uh, you know, it's it's better than just getting something weird. I was gonna actually get hit stones. To get my hit rate up for void region, but then I figured it was kind of weird to get hit. Um, I don't know. I just wish I just got sidetracked with the time. That's just my fault, you know. I got I got two into CS:GO and I didn't realize what time it was. So luckily, I just managed to check right before reset and pick up the 130 set, get the AK done, and basically get all the coupons left. So I do have a ton of coupons saved up from the start of the game. I never spent them, and as well as void region was today. So with the return of Void Region, it was four days ago, I managed to get myself exclusive fragments. I was actually spending coupons to make sure I stayed second, because I have no chance of getting the first, but I always have a chance of getting second. So just a ton of stuff in the mail. I uh, managed to get 450 uh, exclusive fragments as well as coupons. This is all the Visor Revenge stuff. It does a, si it does a single top-up, but it's not a top-up, it's a consumption. And um, yeah, the daily sign-in is pretty much a visual glitch, so you're not going to get it. It kind of sucks. I mean, it would have been too easy to exploit if it did work, but you know, at least I know now. It was just a visual bug. I never bothered checking my coupons, so it's kind of my fault. Um, but I just have really high hopes for the uh, Stern Raiders. That's just it. I have very high hopes for the Stern Raiders. That's the reason why I don't want to upgrade my partners or change them out. My main goal is to really either upgrade Ichibe to a better Vanguard. I could always get Kukaku, but I really hope that one of the Stern Raiders becomes an op, uh, OP Vanguard. <clears throat> uh, Gerard will be really good, I guess. Probably the best Vanguard they can make from a Stern Raider if they do decide to make him. And um, what I really want to do is get a faster support than Hikifune. And Hikifune is fast already, but she really lacks the speed bond. And that just kills me, so I need to get somebody that's fast as well as having a speed bond. That's what I'm going to do to replace Hiki. And I kind of think I should replace Berserk Rangy or at least keep him only for, I don't know, PvE purposes. I don't know, I just need to change up my formation. It would really help out if I had a PvE formation like everybody else. Because I would get a ton of silver and even though everything would die faster, like Evil Spirits would probably die extremely fast. I would get a lot more silver, I guess, overall. Um, but I don't know. My partners are really lacking. So I have Kensei. I just don't bother using him. It really doesn't increase my damage at all. Because my Vanguard's gear isn't the best. And um, just the combo rate doesn't make a, like a huge difference. So I do pretty much do the same damage with Ichibe than when I switch with Kensei. But I have the 130 set saved up right here. Honestly, uh, at the, as far as sets go, I think it's one of the best visuals. Um, but obviously, I can't equip the 140 set. But I I did forget to get the anniversary fee stuff from day one. So sometimes it's nice, you know. You sometimes you get double of the items. <clears throat> sometimes you get them for free, and just it depends. Daily reward is a really lacking event. Now there is really not that nothing that's really good to get, to buy from here. Like a basic fury, like this is decent I guess. 600 gold for a basic fury and a level 6 stone box, but I really don't see anybody buying stuff from here. Uh, Rio Furnace is also good, but you have to top up. No point getting caught in. Um, Accelerate to modify, I don't even know who's in it. Still the same partners, like, still the same partners. And ultimate battle power. So Don Vante managed to get his Berserk Renji, that's good. It honestly seemed like he wasn't going to get it. He got 30k at basically day one of ultimate battle power and I kinda thought he wasn't gonna get the last 10k points but he managed and another thing is I finally have over 2000 red hokyoku points now 
it honestly is all going to rely on what my decision is for my formation. I myself have no clue what I want to do. So I could always just get the godlike damage rate and speed. You can't go wrong with it. Or you can go for a keto attack and then red. But the problem with the perfect speed is I'll probably feed my yellow one to it. Just so I get the maximum levels up. But then again, it's going to lose out on the yellow one for going to my other partners. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just stacking on my Hogyoku pills. I should have 35. Just been stacking them for a while now. The, the really just There's nothing that can change my formation. Like, the reason why... A lot of people always have plans or change their formation is because they need to. Now, for me, the only position I can go for CSB now is rank one, and it's just, it's just, it's just not gonna happen. Like it's just not gonna happen. Um, I have, he has like three more BP more than me almost, so it's just really not gonna happen. A lot more speed as well because Hikifuni doesn't have a speed bond, and Senju and them will have a speed bond, so that's another problem. Um, and then Regen is just another shit that's just out of the question, so... <clears throat> even if I was to go first, it would have to be straight up nuke. That's pretty much it. And, uh... Wow, I lost my voice for some reason. I've just been playing CSGO a lot recently. Got, I got a lot of skins. I'm, I'm far from being even considered anywhere good at that game. But I just play for casual, I don't go crazy about competitive or anything like that. <clears throat> I used to play CSGO last year, but then I just kind of quit because a lot of my friends stopped playing. So I sold all my skins from then, and then now I got back into it, bought skins again. I fucking got a, got an M9 Bayonet for the first time in CSGO. I never had a knife, and I, I just didn't want to get a shitty ass gun knife, so I just might as well get something I wanted. But, eh, I mean, having a fucking M9 Bayonet doesn't make a difference, so... I could always sell the knife back and get like 10% or lose 10% of what I spent. But I'll just keep it for now until whatever happens, you know. See how long I decide to play CSGO. Um, but yeah, there's just not many things I can do for my formation. Basically, when the Storm has come out and all of them come out, I would basically have to invest like around 20 to 30k gold per partner. So it could get really fucking expensive. That's why I'd rather wait. Let the prices go down and slowly start upgrading my team or upgrade one position at a time and wait every few months because it's going to get really expensive. There's really no point in upgrading my formation. Like I said, CSB rank doesn't matter. I'm going to stay where I am. Um, yeah, it's just CSB rank isn't going to matter. Void region, I, like, I could improve, but I mean, how much more would it honestly improve? I would have to get... First, the biggest problem is getting hit stones. So I should have probably got hit stones. <clears throat> You'd want to get as close to 300% on all your partners. And that's just to be on the safe side. And um, honestly, Karinji is really good. Just for the Ignite and the Chaos because it works on some things. And that's kind of one thing I'm, I'm missing right now. It's just I don't have an Ignite. I don't have a Dot or a Chaos. So Regen would have greatly improved my damage. I've just been doing the cultivating labs on Ichiban and Hikifune because they're the last two partners I need modifies on. There's nobody else I need modifies on. And, um, yeah, I mean, there's not much else to, to really say about this account. It's kind of reached its limits. It really did. Um, it's kind of funny, though, because after being rank 1 for so long, it made me kind of realize that, like, in the end, ranks are kind of just, you know, whatever. Now, at first I was just, I was pissed because on Brazil, we're getting merged with servers that are out for a year. And obviously I'm playing for a month and a half. Spend a lot of money to stay rank 1 and then like they do that stupid merge and ruin everything. But after I lost, the, uh, basically after the merge, I wasn't even pissed at the fact that I lost my rank. <clears throat> it's just the fact that my, pro my progression is going to be stopped in that account. Because the events get killed in one hit just because Brazil has that stupid... PVE exploit and it really ruins the game it breaks the game and it just really makes it not fun so you can't have a normal you know you can't have an evil spirit last more than a minute because everybody has a freaking formation that one hits that shit so it's really pointless and then when I realized that it's just like my whole progress is pretty much stopped so many people quit that Brazil server I even quit I haven't been on it since the watch video um, I tried for the first few days you know to see how much XP I was getting and I was just getting like no XP. So it'll be taking like at least a week a level. 
and I wasn't going to obviously play that server until I got 140 because the host would have probably closed. So I gave up on that. Um, I really just don't want to give that account away. I asked a few close friends if they wanted them. Nobody wanted it. They said they don't have any time for it. All this stuff. So I'm just going to leave the account where it is. You know, in my spare time, if I feel the one day I, oh, I just feel like playing Brazil or checking it out, then I'll go on it. You know, there's really no rush. I don't want to go. And I think the Vanguard has... <clears throat> I don't know how I just lost my voice. I was speaking normally before the video. And now I'm just completely lost my voice. I don't know how. Um, but yeah. Then there's just, it's just too much of a trouble to change my entire information in Bleach. That's one thing. Now, I am so close to 139. But then the grind goes to 140. So even if I do buy the 140 set... I won't put it on until after 145. I have to infuse it, and obviously I can't put a set with no infusions on it because it's a lot better than, it's a lot worse than even a, a cyclone set that's fully infused. So I don't have any universal waters either. There's really no way of obtaining them unless you top up and spend a lot of gold. And you'd probably need like 30k universal waters just to get a couple of pieces maxed out for the uh, 140 set anyway. So it's going to be really difficult. Um, as far as changing Zanpakuto, Ooh, sorry. it would be nice to get a region later on. Of course, it's going to be at least, I think, 2-3 months before it goes down to 40k. And I just really don't want to dish out another 40k on Zanpakuto. Uh, I remember when I first got Cotton, I was so excited, blah blah blah. So OP for Hollow Souls, just because of turn 1 crit. But... Now it's like, that region is just basically built. Everything coming out is completely changing the meta, and it's basically focusing on the Void region itself. So you're getting a lot of things that boost defenses. So it's no longer about who can one-hit someone first. It's about who can survive in the long run. So it, it kind of makes it more interesting, it makes the fights longer. But region is honestly too broken. Now, the fact that you have Ignite and a Mutilate... Plus, the Mutilate and the Ignite's damage scale very high. It's not what I assumed it to be. It is way higher than that. Um, it is very possible to have a Vanguard that is literally unkillable. Just stack defenses. It could have no damage. As long as you can tank for a good amount of time, the Regen and Cotton... Will, or not Regen. Regen and... Oh my god, what am I talking about? Ignite and Mutilate will basically win the fight for you. And it's ridiculous if you think about it. It really is. Uh, been seeing some new players on my server as well. Some strange things. I don't know why you would join an old server now. But I was looking through all my videos and I just realized like I started this Brazil or this US account five months ago in March. And I can't even believe it's been that long. I really can't. I remember my first YouTube video about the Bleach account was when I started. Top top 20k took over the server, and it's just it's just like damn like the time went by extremely quick. So, at worst case scenario, I was considering getting Elegion Hana just to finally ditch Ichibe and then give somebody to work on modifies because <clears throat> I could always work on Hikifuni's mods, and then I could always work on Ichibe's, but a Vanguard is useless for me. The Vanguard is really useless. I could use those agility stones that I got and just buy more. Um, pretty much give it to a third support. Now, I like going to Hana is really nice because of her sixth mod. And she has a pretty nice skill of giving everybody a shield. There's a lot of things I like about her. Um, there's a lot of things I like about her. But then she focuses on assaulters, so I would have to kind of work on my main. Try to make him a little bit more useful. It'll probably give me more BP in the long run anyway. Although Ichibe, uh, Ichibe gives me most of his battle power from his HP. I'd say a third support would benefit me more. A Vanguard is only needed for Hollow Souls. And then like intense high level CSBs. Like to the highest caliber I would say. But I was also looking at Ultra Hero. And... If I would have topped up for Elegy on Hana, I would have to do like, I would say, about like a 12k top up. So it could get me a Ryukin, which is the only thing I can get for 12k. 
But <clears throat> obviously, I'll get a Red Sonata Kenpachi for events. I did get one of the 4K partners. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm just like <clears throat> really feeling out of it. So, yeah, I don't know what I would do. I would probably just get Hiro Nomaru and Red Sonata Kenpachi. Like, Hiro Nomaru just for collection purposes and in case I wanted to mess around with Nozarashi in the future. The Mugetsu is honestly a cool thing. Like, top of 28k gold, you keep the gold, and then you get a Mugetsu f for free. But, I mean, honestly, Mugetsu's time is done with. I would really not want to stack a Mugetsu. He would be better than Berserk Renji for PvP. But as far as the, uh, PvE goes, oh my god. Alright, I just, I don't know why I'm, I'm just yawning so much. I'm just really tired. I have to wake up early in the morning as well. I have to go do some stuff with my friends in the city. Um, but yeah, like Berserk, I mean, uh, Mugetsu. So the good thing is that he silences enemy supports and then casts decrease, uh, decreases three enemies' random fury. Problem with the decreasing enemy supports is if Hikifune isn't there to protect him, that's going to be useless because he'll definitely die unless I put wisdoms on him. Um, but there's really nothing I want to buy. There's really nothing. Now, I have five partners to work on modifies for. Six partners, actually. And I have a ton of mail. So, we will start going. Well, let me just first get the 140 set. So, for sure, guys, pick up these equipment sets. They are the best prices you can get. Um, Cyclone sets are around 2,500 to 3,000 gold in Discount Frenzy. So, you're going to be getting 120 sets for the same price as Cyclones, almost. Then... A 130 set goes for literally like 12k gold, a little bit cheaper than a 140 set, and you can only you can get it for 5k gold. And then you have 140 sets, which usually go for like 13k, 14k gold. You can get them for 8k. So I definitely recommend you get one of everything at least. Or if you're like 130 like me, I would say if you don't have a 130 set, get one, work on it now, and then get a 140 for the future. That's what I'm gonna do. So since I got the 130 yesterday. I can get the 140 now, and I'm just going to keep it. I mean, it knocks me down to 7,200 gold. I hate seeing my gold low, but, you know, I'm not going for anything. I'm not, I don't have to buy any partners. Super Furies would be nice, but I'd rather get the basic Furies itself from Witch's House. So next time Witch's House comes around, I hope Rio Guardian's next. Or if they could partner up Rio Guardian with Witch's House, I would be really happy. Um, just because I have 25 basic Furies. Rio Guardian will put me up to 32, and then I'll have to buy like 12 more basics from Witch's House, and I have T1 and Namaya and Higifune, and that makes it a lot more a lot more damage for the Void region. So I'm gonna really like that. But those are like, like really my only plans so far. I don't need to get any partners. I just need to work on the equipments. So that's why I'm pretty much focusing on where I am right now. <clears throat> and it's a it's a pain though getting the materials. It really is. I don't have many materials saved up. I have like none actually, but I will open up the 130 set. I have to start infusing that. Um, been been playing Brave Souls because if you guys didn't see my video, because you don't care about Brave Souls or whatever, but been working on that again. <clears throat> and uh, he's a monster. He's really is a monster. I did a, a multi summon for accessories, and I really didn't get any four star accessories, so I was kind of bummed out. But you know, it's expected. It's really rare to pull a chappy as well. I think that the 130 set has like the best equipment design, honestly. I really like the colors. Um, the Pudo set, it's kind of weird. The only cool thing I would say is like the weapons that they have. But yeah, you know, I can't wait till I use them. I mean, the stats, the stats alone are crazy. So they're slightly better than the 120 set, just slightly. But you know, <clears throat> when it comes to high-end PvP or high-end battle power players. You basically have to go for the best, so it it's not really a, I was, it's, I would say it's not an efficient way of getting a 130 set. I could have probably gotten two 140s and just kept them, but at least the 130 I can work on now. Swap it to Hikifune, give the other 120 set to Berserk Renji, then he goes up in battle power slightly. And for when I actually hit 140 and have an infused 140 set, I can have both of my supports with a 140 and a 130. And then my Vanguard or whoever I have, then maybe a third support, and my Berserk Renji would have a 130 set. So it's all kind of planned out. Um, the only other partner I have is uh, Shinigami Kensei. The Bankai Rook is loaned. 
Everybody else is loaned. And then I have Retsuno, Haka, uh, Retsuno Hanakabachi. I only loaned her twice. So it's actually a good thing to pick her up from Ultra Hero. Um, I just honestly... Use her at the beginning. Amazing damage. There was like no complaints. But, you know, it was just killing the evil spirit too fast. And it didn't really matter because I was doing higher damage even without her. So I kind of just basically didn't stop renting her because... Like, there was really no point in doing it on my server anyway. But buying a set automatically gives me 8,000 spent. So, you spend 8k, you get 2k coupons back every day. And we have all these items. So, we got some spirit stones, uh, mod select speed cards, there's some universal sockets, some almighty frags, more spirit stone boxes, hogu enhances. Now, on the last day, I will go for the tier 11 hogu, or tomorrow, I should say. Tomorrow, I'm going to go for it. Um, one thing I have to decide is do I want to go for basic fury packs or level 4 jade or level 4 stone packs just for the basic fury or do I continue with the agilities or maybe just go for something else but or actually yeah that's what this is what the packs are so yeah I might get these packs if not get some agility stones get some maybe hit stones I don't know but I have a ton of coupons and you know, I I'll, I might as well just spend the last 8k on the last day to get 2k coupons back. Because I need to spend how much? I need to spend... Uh, oh no, I have to spend 3,800. So actually, I don't need to spend it. Because spending 3,000, yeah, it would be too much of a difference. Well, actually, no. It would probably be better to spend the entire 3,000 because it's closer to 4,000. So... For an additional 2,000, I get 1,500 back. So yeah, I should spend... I'll spend the entire A key on the last day. Or tomorrow. Whenever. That really doesn't matter. So yeah, I'll spend the entire A K. It's going to brought me down to 3K coupons. And then I get... Oh no, actually, I have to get coupons back right now, actually. I have to go through all these. So um, a ton of mail just lit up of all coupons. The mail is like, what the hell? It's like overfold, so... Yeah, I'm gonna basically... It's like my coupons never went down, honestly. It's like my coupons never went down. But yeah, I didn't spend too many. So, wow, I'm actually... I'm actually in a good position right now. So, I was at like... 13,000 coupons or something before. And since I spent gold, it basically gave me most of my coupons back. So, now I can spend 8k, go down to 8k, but then the 2k will give me back up to 10k. So we also have a random tier 10 Hogu, which I think is a stamina. Yeah, we got the stamina, and uh, yeah, Ichibe has a tier 11. Tier 11 for Ichibe, Namaya. Namaya even has a tier 11. Might as well give it to Berserk Renji, and give that to Hiki, and then give that to my main. And a slight battle power increase. Let me just go through the items I have. So, somehow Gyoku Hollow Spirits. <clears throat> Haven't been doing console. I probably should do it. I also forgot about campaigns. We get another 100 Red Hole Gyoku Fragments. Uh, we get another 5 Almighties. We also have 600 Exclusives. Ton of Spirit Stone Boxes. We got 1 Level 8 as well. And we're going to get even more Hogu Enhances for the last one, so... Uh, okay, strength, that's really good. Strength is a really good one to get. But yeah, a lot of people are just like, just like weirded out about saying, okay, you, like saying that I only said, okay. So I said that you only need 20k gold to, to dominate a new server. And everybody is like flipping out saying, oh, you, it's like you act like 20k is nothing. I'm like, no, I'm not saying it's nothing. But to play these kind of games at a high caliber level, like high VIP, you basically have to start on a really good event. So, that it's not me telling people, oh yeah, you know, s just top up 20k gold, start a new account, and you're going to be doing good. I'm saying, for those of you who want to start a new, a new account, like a new player, maybe somebody who just sees the game and wants to get interested by it, it's just my opinion. Like, this is what you could do during these events, start a new server and dominate it. That's basically what I said about the 20k plan. And it is... It is honestly one of the best starts you can hope for because all that really matters to level up fast is PvE damage. You don't need speed or anything else like that, so 
Having a Berserk Renji Retsun on a Kenpachi and a Hikifune, you're already maximizing on PvE damage alone just because of the attack buff and the insane damage they do. So I'm not saying five, uh, $500 top up is nothing. Obviously, like you, I pay bills, I pay taxes, I know what money is. Like I have to spend it on the daily, so I'm not saying it's cheap, but in order to play a pay-to-win game, you have to spend money. You're not gonna, you're not gonna get to rank one with your feelings or, or praying or having a dream. You have to, you have to spend money. If you could have gotten rank one, just by patience alone, then all the VIP zeros will be rank ones on the servers. Because they're the ones who play the game the longest, and the, they just actually put the most time into it. So, if it was like that, then obviously VIP zeros will be on the top of the servers. But the game is not like that. It's pay to win. So I just wanted to give my opinions for anyone who wants to start Bleach now. These are really good events to do so. And that's all. Really, I was trying to get a point. I wasn't saying like, yeah, you know, it's only five hundred dollars and you can be good. It's not that. It's not the way I was trying to say it, but. Yeah, that's what a lot of people basically uh, interpret it as. And all my stones are pretty much set on my partners. Um, I think I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna give it to my main, but... Either my main is at the point where... I can infuse one. So, I guess I'll just give it to Ichibe. Oh, wait. Ooh, what the... Oh, wait. So he already had everything. Yeah, I don't know. My stones are just like they're not too high up, but when you when most of your stones are above eight, it's pretty tough to do to deal with them. So I have a ton of these agility stones. Not even sure where they're gonna take me. Um, it would be nice to get a level twelve set on Hikifune, but I am still a long way from that. As far as I know, I think she has all elevens anyway. So. To get two tens to make it an eleven and then make that a twelve is really tough. Let's see. Let me just check my Hikifune. So eleven. Eleven, yeah, all elevens. So this can make three eights. Even if I was to buy level one stones, I could probably make like one eleven at the end of the event and that'll give me one twelve agility. Yeah, I'm just really, like, not feeling it right now. I have to record this video right at reset, too, because I'm going to be busy tomorrow. I'm not going to be able to, to do it in the morning. So I'm just going to leave my stones the way they are, honestly. Um, I'd rather think with a clear with a clear mind than do it right now and mess up. But as far as exclusives go, I will be putting them on <coughs> my Hikifune because she's getting close to, to 20 or uh, to 30, actually. And oh, it's 40 for better growth rates. I thought it was 30. So when she gets 40, it's gonna be better growth rates. Now it's gonna be a huge waste to get her exclusive up, but I do plan on replacing her anyway. And since she is the star of my formation, I'm gonna have to stick with that. Um, yeah, she's at 739k speed, and with Namaya's six month, she basically goes up above 800k. But what also occurred to me is that there is a way to cheat bonds. Now, it depends on how strong your main is, of course, but there is there are attacks that basically the main has a chance to cast a normal attack to all enemies, and then when you have the second reincarnation, or uh, is it not the second? No. Alright, so that is the only one. Yeah, that is the only one. So basically, you would basically um, inherit to get this skill which my main does and in, in bonds that require turn one you can just rng it out keep challenging until your main has a reincarnation effect go off if you're if your main is strong which assuming you give your mains uh your best assaulters gear or supports gear if you're a keto main then if the main is strong enough with a reincarnation proc they should one hit the entire bond so that's another way of you actually completing the bonds i haven't tried it myself um, I just don't know if my main can do it, so I'll have to give it a chance, but someone on my Discord brought it up to me, so I figured I should share with everybody else. Um, we are getting pretty close to, like, I need 26 more Hogo Enhances, which I think the Visor only gives 20. 50, wow. Gives 50, I don't even remember when they gave that much, so that's actually worth spending the coupons for sure. 
So that's going to give me level 9 tier 12 Hogu. And I just want to figure out how much agility it gives. So this gives around 18,000. This gives already 19,000. So let me just check something. Yeah, so she's already faster with that. So the tier 12 Hogus are ridiculous. So we're going to keep that on her now. It's about time I made the change, and Namaya's rocking it out. I wanted to max the Wisdom one, but that was when I got the Tier 12 Hogu for Agility, and I decided to get that. After I max this Hogu, I'm going to go for a Tier... Maybe I'll go for a Tier 11 Wisdom. Or maybe go for like a Tier 12 Wisdom and start maxing that out. Um, but it just recently hasn't been about the partners, it's been about the equipment for me. So let's go into the Infusements. And check it out. I have a ton of materials for the 130 set. I just really don't think it's going to get me anywhere. So we got the God Slayer Rune. I need to get a Guarding Stone as well. It's going to be 600 gold. But it is in a huge investment in the long run. So always get the Guarding Stones if you can. Otherwise you're going to have very low chance of infusing. So just making sure this is the Rune. Alright, we're going to go put in... Wow, this is getting... <laughs> yeah, this is already getting ridiculously expensive. So, obviously what I want to do... Since Hikifuni is not about damage, I want to go straight into the boots. I want the boots to get level 20 first. As soon as the boots get level 20, then I can just instantly swap over to Hikifune. Um, That's really not a problem for me. I guess I can use Universals as well, because it's a really long time. So, the boots are already level 12. Then we can get the belt a little bit. I still didn't fully infuse my 120 set, so that's another problem. That's really another problem I have to worry about. Um, yeah, I'm feeling so out of it. Wow. I'm feeling so out of it. But hopefully everyone's Void Region went good yesterday. I know I used to do a lot of those Void Region videos, but it just kind of stopped... Just, uh, just, this became a lot of work, so I just kind of stopped doing it. It's just, the most annoying part is asking people for battle reports. I hate every four days I have to go, you know, beg people for battle reports, and then just wait for them to send me it, then do my video, so I really don't like doing that anymore. It was a fun thing at first, but now I just kind of grew out of it. But, yeah, I really can't wait till I get this set completely switched out. So, it's all slightly... Uh, slight upgrades for everything, but it's gonna make a pretty big deal. It's at least when I give a 120 set to Berserk Rangy, that's gonna be a big deal. He might go up at least like 50k in battle power, but then the problem is while I'm working on infusing the 130 set, I don't have a one uh, 120 weapon that's infused, so it'd be like level one anyway. So there's a a ton of infusing problems, and I still want to get a new intro for my channel, but I'm just. I'm just too lazy to make my own. I really am. I'm not a video editor by any means. So it's just really not up to me. And I have 30 pills already saved up. I can make another 35, so that's going to be 65 pills. It should get a decent amount of levels. And it's just been saving up for the longest. But I'm really leaning towards to the godlike damage rate and speed. I'm really leaning towards to that, but if I do plan on getting a third support, then I should probably get both of these. I don't know. I mean, I got the Godlike Damage Rate and Speed on Brazil. And it was a pain to level up, pain to max out. But the Damage Rate boost is nice, as well as the speed. So, I'm just going to end the video here, guys. I kept it a little bit long, but, you know, I just had to say some things. Um, just before I forget, I haven't went to this Unpacto Fortifies in a while. That's another thing I went to probably going to go to sleep right after I record this anyway, so finally I maxed, I got level 50 on the keto attack one, and now we're going to be working on the uh, physical attack, so at this rate I'm going to get the phase 2 effect for cotton, that's kind of one of the reasons why I should stick with Hikifune and Senju, do a 3-2 with Hiki, Senju, and, and Namaya, but honestly I probably just, I just really don't want to get Senju Maru. I already consider her, even though she is still one of the best supports. She came out so long ago, and I just rather wait for the new supports to come out. And Hikifuni just has to go soon. It really has to go. Um, 
But yeah, really good events all partnered up well. Tomorrow I'll be able to get that Hogu 3200 spent. Oh yeah, Guarding Stone, so now we have to spend... Fuck. I just realized I should have waited till tomorrow to get that Guarding Stone because... Now I'm still going to have to go... I'm going to basically have to spend the entire 8k. Or I just spend the 3000 only. So yeah, now I might actually just spend... The 3,000 only, but I don't know, I'll see. I'll probably still end up doing the whole 8k. Just because I have coupons to spare, so it's fine with me. Um, but yeah, perfect couple. So you were able to get free roses for having any of these. And then to get the party, you have to just buy roses. So getting the 200 roses, it gets you some good items. Like level 8 spirit stone box, red hogyoku fragments, as well as soul stones. Now, I really like the Isone. I really like the Unohana, but Unohana is just not main support material. Just because she doesn't have a speed bond, so she'd be in the same sp uh, predicament as Hikifune. And I think she would be slight. She is slightly slower than Hikifune, but the sixth mod would kind of make up for it. So yeah, but yeah, she's really good though. I I really like her. Plus, she's immune to fury restriction and reduction, so it counters the Hikifune Senju. And her skill honestly counters, what is it, uh, it counters, it counters chaos, it counters a lot of things. Casting the shield on all enemies will keep clear you from all debuffs and immunes, so Nemo can't chaos your assaulters, there's a lot of good things that's about her. And as much as I want to get her, she would cost around like 18,000 gold, 17,000 gold. I would still have to top up around like 12k, no actually like maybe 8k. And I'd probably barely have been enough, so then I could just give it to Nana Kampachi. But I'm gonna end the video here. It's been way too long already. Um, I'll I'll think about this next couple of days. I really don't want to cave in and get a new support now. I'm much better wait for Star Raiders. But appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday.